Hey Zombie Survival fans, this is Matt, and I'm back in another game of Seven Days to Die. I um, want to catch you up. I've been uh, doing quests. Since I've come back from the Northern Trek, um, the Hugh dude at the one location has been giving me Tier 2 missions, finally. Um, Mostly the same kinds of things, but they're a little a little more involved or a little harder. But there's also some combination missions. The, um, you know, there before he had some fetch missions as well as some clear the house missions. Now you'll have one that's both fetch and clear. So you have to kill all the zombies and retrieve it to something and take it back. There's also one I haven't been able to do yet. Well, I haven't taken yet, which was re restore the power, and you can only do it at night been hesitant to try it and I want to try it um, so I went out and I did one of those combo missions um, I, I went into a house like I showed last stream I cleared I, I basically cleared the whole house and the property then I started the mission and I did it again and I thought I had gotten everything I retrieved the package I went I left the house got into my little mini bike and started to go home and until I reached a perimeter and it says oh if you don't turn back you're gonna fail the mission oh and you failed the mission apparently there was still a zombie wandering around in the yard that I didn't kill so I wasted I don't know at least 45 minutes to an hour because I did the thing and then I did it again it took forever um, <laughs> so ticked off and dejected and then I went off and did another normal mission I think it was a, a shovel mission those have changed so all the missions are a little harder now you know the ones where you have to go out and dig up the buried treasure? Before, you, that's all it was. You just go out and, and you go to a spot and you dig and you dig and you dig until you find it. No big deal. Now the mission is a little more, a little harder. It's the same thing. You're going out and dig, dig, dig and, until you find it. But every so often you get those little pings that say, ooh, you're closer to getting it. Now, period, in those same kind of periodical points, all of a sudden you'll get like two to three Zeds that kind of descend upon your location. So it interrupts your ability to just keep digging. And remember, you can't leave that circle area, or again, you'll fail the mission and have to return. Um, so you dig, you dig, you dig, you dig. Oh, the zombies are coming. You gotta kill, kill, kill. Back to dig, dig, dig. Oh, kill, kill. Back to dig, dig, dig. And, you know, it sort of slows the whole process down. Um, anyway, I did that, and it was okay. The rewards are better. Um, and right now, I'm getting ready to start another one of the fetch and clear missions. Um, and this is a building we've already cleared. At least I already cleared it. I don't know whether I recorded it. Um, I may have. This is a disheveled building. I don't know. Not, not too many blocks away from where the uh, where Hugh is located at. I guess I can show it on the map. So we're here. And there's Trader Hugh. Um, so, here, yeah, here is our house, I no longer have my bed there because I put a bedroll at the house up north, it took away my bedroll here, and you can only have your bedroll in one location, so, eh. but I did build one of those uh, block things, those block claim things, so most of the house and the surrounding yard are claimed, although part of it isn't. But anyway, this is where we're at. Um, this was a place I had cleared earlier. Um, I've already I've already gone up through the building once, um, so now I have you know. So right now it's empty, but now once I ping this, it's going to reset everything. In this building, I managed to find a couple of cool things. One, I found an upgraded stun baton, so I could to, um, up to stun or the the tier four. So I have. I put my tier 3 one in here along with the tier 1 one that I found in this uh, building so I'm gonna go sell those when I go back to Hue um, so basically I've dumped as much stuff as I could into the mini mini bike so it's ready to go back um, the other thing that happened was I found the last of the skill books needed to get me to a um, hundred in my cooking skill. So from now on, finding those home cooking weekly magazines aren't going to get me anything. <laughs> so I have maxed this out. Uh, 
so now I have two of them now I think that are at 100 I don't think they're yeah just those two some of these I barely even dented them it's funny to me that I've already gotten a hundred in robotics and a hundred in the foods and I'm closing in on vehicles and elect the electrician magazine too so just be aware of that but I finally maxed out the cooking skill so all right we're gonna be doing this at night entire plot of land resets and I just got done looting all this stuff there isn't a whole lot on the ground out here this is pretty much a uh, infiltration into the building there's actually a lot of debris here this would be a good place to mine for all this raw material nothing in the wrecked elevator See, the real trick is, is I can either try to worm my way through the building legitimately, or there are ways that I could sneak up to the very top of the building and work my way down. Locked door, of course. That one's not. Red goth boots. Maybe I can't quite climb up this side. Nope, they're not going to let me. I'll find a different way up. Won't be able to climb up over there either. Bad. I should be going up level, level by level, and instead I'm going to jump, jump to the higher side and work my way down.
Everything's clear on the rooftop here. the top floor, well, the top, the roof. Yeah, we gotta work our way down the building. Even though I've taken a bunch of herbal meds, I still have not gotten over this stupid plague virus crap. It just seems to stick around forever. God, I love that upgrade. So before I did this, I did a mission where I had to go to a, it was a house, but it, they had some pigs, those little boar things, and watching those boars get shot across the yard was hilarious. And yet another stun baton that I can sell. And there's stairs that go up, out, fall down under there, but I don't want to. We'll get in there the hard way. came in here. Okay, got rid of you.
sure if I got my 1500. If I can afford the uh, crucible, if I can, if it's still available for sale, there's no guarantee that it's going to be available. But he was selling it for 15,000. That's it, I think. Got the supplies, but we haven't cleared the area yet, so apparently there's still some Zeds wandering around. There's a lower floor, I suppose. I mean, yes, we're close enough we can exit, but technically speaking, this isn't the lowest floor. Alright, now I'm just going in circles. Actually, where I want to go is down here. There, nothing. There, exit. There, 
safe. Anything else? I don't remember coming in here in my pre-sweep, so I must either didn't know this room was here, or maybe I did and, I, and it was blown out, I don't know. Okay, let's see what's in the old safe. <laughs> Still haven't cleared the area. Still somebody lurking around in here. Oh boy, stuff I'd get rid of. It's a new day. Maximum load. That was the last. Yep, that was the last. The last lurker. Ah, there's the key. That's what happens when you do things backwards. If I would have done these things in order, everything would have fallen together smoothly. materials if nothing else. That's a big pile of debris. I'm wondering if there is anything under there because it's not really that hard to dig through that. It's just time consuming. So I'm thinking there could be something in there and wouldn't even know it. I'm digging through this big pile. <laughs> okay, well, we cleared everything. Now let's see what stacks in the mic. It's perfect timing too, he's about to open up. Took the whole night, but we got through it. Oh. I have to turn that down. It's a little loud in my ear. I can't hardly hear myself talk. tiers of missions there are. Interesting. Interesting notion. Because I don't know. Yeah, I got let me go through Arya.
cracks me up. Okay. Why do I want to try to sell him? Because there's some things he will not buy. There's some things he'll only buy in large quantities. And there's some things he'll buy regardless. say Hugh, but it doesn't sound like it. It sounds like he says Joe. <laughs> oh, yeah, so we get something. Uh, a lot more a lot more forged steel. I'm going to take that. That's what I took last time, too. Oh, i got to free up some space. See what he'll buy. check his supply. It's possible he has something that I want. Well, it's not easy to read against that weird white backdrop. Resources. Mm, some decent stuff, but nothing I want right this second. Mods. Shotgun duck bill. Trigger group burst mod. Mm, I don't like bursts because it usually means burning ammo. Um, anvil. A couple of anvils. Not the stuff I'm looking for. Generate power for your electrical components. Repair with the forged iron electrical parts and candle bars. God, that'd be nice to have. I think that's what I use to charge up my uh, battery for like my little bike here. So right now, if that battery goes, I'm I got a backup because I got my bicycle. I could flip flop it. I can carry my mini bike and my bicycle, or my bicycle and my mini bike. So I'm never gonna be trapped on foot generator bank <sighs> twelve hundred. Oh, I got sixteen thousand. I think I can afford it. If I had any if I had any plans to do electronic stuff in my base, I'd go ahead and get the generator bank, but right now I'm not, because I'm not even sure I'm going to stay in my house by base anymore, only because it's the other one is a little more centrally located to where I'm currently active, but 
I guess you're not so bad <laughs> after all. Change. So let's look at his job. See, now he's got tier two jobs to restore power at night, different locations, or tier two missions for uh, clear, berry. So they're the same kinds of missions, but there's a few new types, and then there's the combo missions, which are currently not available because I just did one. So that's what happened to me last time I did one too. When I came back, I couldn't do another one right away. I had to do some other things. But that's fine. I'm not gonna. I'm not hanging around here. I'm gonna go back north again because there's two traders up there I can deal with, and maybe one of them has my crucible. Because that's really what I'm up. For. Oh, I just realized it's day 49. It's another seven day. Oh. This is not the ideal day to... It's not the ideal day to be in my base, to be honest with you. I don't like being in my base when this thing goes off, because that means the zombies are going to rip the crap out of your home base. So I'd much rather find it, just like I did the last time. Find a nice rooftop, defensible position, wait out the whole night... out the whole night and uh, you know, kill them off as, you, as needed the next day. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff to put away. Ordinarily I would pause the game, but because this is day 49 and I am going to be under the gun. It is 8 o'clock in the morning, so I got all day to work with this, but I want to be out of here in a hurry. I do not want to be dilly dallying today. Get the food items out of here. it yet, so I'm just going to stick it in here for now. I don't want to sell that, so I'm going to keep that in my inventory. Okay, that's alright. Meds, excess meds. get some clothing items. What was it? Oh, the sunglasses. Where are they at? There we go. Plop. They don't offer me a real big bonus. That's why I'm not wearing them. I like my goggles. They give me the little luck factor. Mods. Another zoomer. Actually, I, I can sell that. That's a weapon flashlight mod. I got plenty of those. Put that on my sell it list. Okay, armor, level 2 leather chest armor, places this, which also goes on my cell pile. I didn't think, I don't think I have any other armor, do I? No. Okay, miscellaneous junk.
keeping that. I am, uh, you know what, I'm going to put the battery in the uh, mini bike. difficult to maintain multiple bases. This thing has got my crafting stations and my storage. Moving all the stuff from here up north is going to be impossible. Okay, it didn't remove my bedroll. That's interesting. But I can no longer, it's no longer my saved point. I can pick it up and then place it and it'll replace it. But Alright, alright, alright. I'm getting confused here. Alright. I picked up. I figured I found out how to get meat from stuff. You just need to take an axe or a pick and you know notch the whack on the dead remains of a pig or other animals. And that's how you get meat. Simple as that. Now, a knife does it best, but I didn't have a, have a knife on me, so I just used my hatchet. Okay, weapons and ammo. smelter. That's essentially what that is. Okay, the other materials go in here. Those don't. Dang it. 
those other times it just doesn't want to work. Alright, got a couple other food items and we're ready to vamoose. check. Okay, it's noon. Where am I gonna find... things are actually good places to be. They're not easy to get up onto them. I could just jump on another gas station like last time. too high off the ground because then it's too hard to shoot him and do other things. I want to be just you know, off the ground high enough they can't reach. But not so high that it creates a problem with me checking them. Exciting about this. Excellent. Okay. the pick against wood so there's no real reason to use that so I'm going to use this instead um, hey there's my antibiotics Boop. hopefully it stays away this time alright then go back in mod and complete This is a weapon either. I'm not going to use it on wood. So that's complete. 
neat. Everything else is in good shape. All right. fortifiable. Man, the top of that roof would be interesting. But it's so big, they'd end up just gathering in the building. I don't really want to be inside or over a big, huge building. The gas station is, is fairly open. It's just one big room and a small room. No, I don't want to be in the house that's being moved. cool. I already unlocked it, but it respawned the stuff that was inside. That's cool. residential zone where I want to be in the commercial area where all the little businesses are. Dang it! I can't find anything in those. I have not been into that building with the, that looks like it's under construction. That'd be interesting. A lot of girders. their stuff.
this rooftop for something good. Paintbrush, scrap it. Oh, that was a switch that we picked up. That's interesting. Alright, I don't need that. I don't need the cloth. I don't need the seeds. That's concentration. <laughs> Side. 
has to do with the placement of where the door is in relationship to the square. This block is one block, and that door is one face of it, and I can't block it. Figuring this game out. Nice little cozy pad up here, right under the rooftop. Imagine there's somebody up here already. It won't take them that long to plow through that stuff, but still. Every little bit slows them down just a little bit. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this. <gasps> I just fell through the floor. <laughs> oh no. Alright, well I can get back up there. I don't, I, I can't really go back the way I came because I blocked all those different roads and I don't want to have to start all over with that. <laughs> what an idiot. I want to go up. There we go. Oh, you dip. Okay, I can't do it from there, but I can. I just need to do it cheaty-wise. <gasps> oh, I could do it. I just messed it up. Okay, we're going to get this. We're going to get this. Don't worry. I got this. I got this. You did it again. Hopefully that'll hold them away. Just 
still rather have them attacking me here than attacking my main base because they'll just rip through walls and everything until they get to you. And I would much rather have them rip up these locations and just respawn. Get up that way, try to climb the roof. Got windows inside, so when they get inside the building, we can shoot them from here if they manage to get up to the lower tiered parts of the roof I can get them from here okay 19 o'clock all right this is my chance to check my stuff out and figure out what I got what can I build anything Kit. Why don't you go ahead and do that? That'll use up some materials. Don't have any stones, so I can't do a campfire. Alright, let's get rid of some garbage. Pipe bomb, I gotta remember that.
Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Headshot didn't me. there. So we have to last from 22, because 22 is when night technically starts, from 22 through, what, 4 a.m.? Four a.m. is dawn, and we'll get rid of the zombies, but then we can go out and get them without fear of Super speed, Zeds, and a dog. Oops, somebody's shooting spit at me. Oh, you little bastard. You're nice and slow until then. Long to get up here, did it? It lacked focus though. God, there are multiple dogs today.
line up. Found myself a nice little spot, didn't I? Is this where they're gonna keep coming? Headshot. Murderer's row here. They're just gonna keep on coming and I'm just gonna keep plugging away at the same spots. Just keep coming to the same spot. Oh, now they broke through there, but that's not going to help them any because now they have. They needed that spot to climb up onto the roof. <laughs> oh, now I wish I had my grenade again. Yeah, they'll just climb on each other's bodies, so. Unfortunately, I'm going to lose these drops. They don't stay there forever. After midnight, I still got to last another four hours. They're gonna get to me eventually. There's nothing I can do about it.
this is it. I'm down to my last clip here, 27 rounds. Make every shot count now. Ammo, unfortunately. 14 shots, all I got left. They are jumbling around from left and right. That didn't kill anything. Dang it! It's three shots gone. now wood, I could have just picked it up, but I can't pick up this box. more hours of avoiding these guys. Go up 
the way that they were trying to get in. The stuff did stay longer than I thought it was gonna. Can't fall back down, you idiot. Oh, and I fell again. some ammo. I didn't realize what my health was down to. I'm pretty good about avoiding getting hit, but damn, I don't have any med kits. I do not. Well, I made it to morning. Aiming causes me.
buddy. Survived. Wasn't pretty. <laughs> Falling off the rock. I did have wood cubes right there. I could have used those to get back up there. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. That's fine. It was it was an adventure. Okay. Go ahead and use the repair thing on that. Oh my god. <laughs> I ripped the shit out of this place. <laughs> oh, well, like I said, you don't want him doing that to your base. You'd rather have him do it to one of these locations that'll just respawn and fix itself at some point. Oh my god, that was insane. And all this stuff did stick around. <sighs> okay, scrap it. <laughs> Eat it. in here. Oh, yes, I can put all this stuff in here. <sighs> well, it doesn't matter. I broke my leg. Did it, uh, do I have a cast? I think I have a cast in here somewhere. Not in my inventory, not in that either. Dang. No med kits. Bandages aren't going to help. Four stun baton. That'll be worth it. Ooh. Well, that's not in the right location. Oh, I repaired this stupid thing. I was going to scrap it. That's fine. I'm glad I didn't scrap it because it's going to be worth selling. Alright, where's my water? Get that back in here. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> Another backpack. <laughs> oh my god, that was horrible. That was. City Hall. That's, that's something I gotta do. I haven't been in that building yet. to my base, which is really just right there.
station. We'll go and buy that one other time. I was gonna go home, but I think I'm gonna go to the, uh, the trader first and see if I can buy that, buy and sell some junk. He wasn't the one that had the uh, crucible. It was the guy up north near the snow line. But Selection does change. Sort of random. Actually, I want to. Oh, there's nothing in there. That's right. I'm carrying all my crap today. Hey, don't come in here unzipped. Oh, let's see. I need to get rid of some stuff. As much as I can part with. Exchange now. Let's see what he's got in his inventory. Uh, not much there. Not much there. Another one of those water purifier mods that I already got. get more and more of these are open books which means I can't get any more out of them Drifting. Time to move on. I'm drifting. Stupid controller is getting a little wonky here. Okay. Uh, use the magazines up. I am no longer injured. I was looking at my broken leg. That's why I bought that medical. That's fine. It's no longer broken. Sprained or whatever it was. anything that uses a repair kit if I don't have to. All the rest of the stuff I can fix. Okay. Hmm. Still got stuff in my inventory I wish I could part with, but I'm stuck with it for now. Wait a second. Where is my other... I should have a shovel. It's right there. Those are both extra shovels. Because this is my stone shovel that's got the mod on it. So those are both junk, and he wouldn't even buy one of them. Jerk. Well, what kind of lousy customer are you, anyway? Still other stuff I want to sell, so I'm just going to dump more of it in there. buy it next time. Oh, I didn't even try to sell cash. Keep that. It's pretty much the guns and ammo stuff that I really don't want to carry with me. Everything else I'm kind of fine with. All right.
day 50. Zona control only affects other human players. It's not going to prevent the Zeds from respawning here from time to time. All right. Um, Give myself a make sure I had a backup supply of ammo here. last two and I'm gonna leave. There's only 11 pieces of wood in there. It'll burn itself out cooking the 14. <clears throat> so then the next time I come back I will have uh, a little better supplies waiting for me. I guess I don't really need the aspirin. Everything else is pretty
Okay, yeah, there's no reason for me to wait around another seven minutes. stay on the main road and make our way north as we can. I'm not really planning on any major excursions in terms of uh, salvaging a home or whatever, scavenging for supplies. It's the middle of the day, it's not quite noon, so that gives us some time for dark. Not that it matters, because driving in the dark isn't so bad anymore. say, you know, if I was to make a few critiques, or not necessarily critiques, but a few things I wish they would do, I wish that the named locations that you discover would be written in as such on your map. Even if it's something that you can turn on and off. Like, you know, do you want locations listed or not? It could get a little crazy in the city where there's lots of, of named things on top of each other or near each other, so I get that, but I don't know. It would be nice if a few more locations had names on the map, even if it isn't everything. Okay, not I don't think you need every house, like every person's residence, but, you know, if there's a ranger station or it's a, you know, a CDC place or it's a hospital or it's a, you know, a major building or structure, I think all of those should have, be named on the map. I think that would be very convenient. And I don't think there's a way that you can... Some games allow you to manually do the map. I don't think there's any way you can... You can make waypoints. You can select and zoom, but there's no way for you to like put names, named places on the map. So, either one or the other. Either allow the players to put in the space, you know, because then they can just put in, like, the things that are important to them, their, their own little, like, landmarks. But I think it would be a real convenience. Another thing would be nice would be to have a, a HUD overhead map, you know, like one of the mini maps in the corner. got the, you got the compass, so you're, you got something on there, but it would kind of be nice to not have to constantly go back and forth to your map just to know, is this, is this the road I'm supposed to take or is it the next one? I was going to say, this looks just like a rest area. They did a really good job. Considering this is all randomly thrown together, uh, the level of detail is pretty, pretty good. Absolutely everything is destructible in this game. It makes it really 
interesting to me. No place is ever fully safe. In any other game you play, they've got things that you just can't destroy. You can destroy a lot of stuff, but you can't destroy everything in Fortnite. You can destroy a lot of stuff in Conan Exiles, but you can't destroy everything. Most games you can't destroy hardly anything. And for Rockstar titles, the Elder Scrolls games, the Fallout games, there's very little in the way of destructible environments. But then again, there's there's uh, what's the game Red Faction. They one of the big things they liked to push was all the different stuff that was destructible. Pretty much anything built was destructible in that game. And there's different versions, obviously. I'm not sure about every single version of the game, but most of the time they like to have destructible buildings. But the ground itself isn't destructible. You can't just dig infinitely. The first game did have some, some digging things you could do, but most of the games were not like that. I can't remember the last time I played a game that was quite... I mean, really, it's, it's Minecraft, really. This is like a really pretty version of Minecraft because it doesn't have the old-fashioned pixelated art. Okay. I think we're pretty much... Yeah, we're on the right path right there. So that was a nice little road we found. That's that's a nice path. It's not straight, but it's not... You know, it doesn't really wind around a lot, which is kind of irritating on some of these roads. plenty of vehicles and things to loot along the way. <laughs> you notice there's no... The road itself, look at it. Does it look like granite? Does anybody have a granite, solid granite road? Because <laughs> that's what it looks like. Texture isn't, isn't, doesn't look like gravel. doesn't look like concrete. It doesn't look like asphalt. There's also no lines on this road, and it's obviously a big road, so it should have lines on it. But it looks like marbled, marble or granite, you know. <laughs> I've just I've never seen a road that looked like this. If it was a little, it's that reddish tint, the purplish reddish tint that it has. If it was more of the blue gray that's also in there, if it was just that, then it would kind of look like concrete. But this doesn't look like concrete, not to my eyes anyway. A little too peachy pink. I don't know what it takes to kill one of those bears. I don't know how much damage they take. How much it takes to kill them. I'm not real keen to find out. But if I'm going to do it, I want to do it in the safety of... Zombies. He moves much faster than I would expect. He's taking a shitload of damage. I'm not gonna. Heck with that. Well, you're a stat for sore eyes. Fifteen thousand. I apparently bought enough stuff that I can no longer have my fifteen thousand. Shoot. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. That's only worth sixteen. That's only worth forty. Crap. He's only doing tier ones. trouble. Godspeed. Crap. Oh, that takes me off something. Dang it. I bought 
too many of those magazines, apparently. The 300 a pop, I guess. They ship them out so many of them. Tears of skulls. Oh my, that's one red skull, an orange skull, and a half. Why do I think that that's pretty bad? Alright, I'm, I'm not going to do this twice. I'm just going to go ahead and do it one time. But maybe I will maybe come in here. I'm not going to clear the whole house twice. Since we're in this one room, why not check the place out a little? Okay, it's like a burnt out house. Alright. left to this place. See, here's the, the home cooking thing. It was finally used up. Oh, and it's cold too. Great. Uh, I can always do a torch.
came all the way over here and there's nothing here to loot. Zeds have moved in. And it's still not cleared. He's a lumberjack zombie and he's okay. clear the area. This closet, every room in this house is tiny, and the closet is huge. See, I already went through there. Okay. Up the ladder. I hear something screaming. Hmm. <laughs> 
house had a huge roof. Didn't have much going on otherwise, though. sellable. Hopefully. That's stupid paper. Anything new? Black bus mechanical. Stuff. Lever action rifle, a legitimate rifle, not just a manufactured pipe rifle. That's good stuff. Okay, let's scrap some things. Good. New keeps me interested. New tells me there's still stuff I haven't discovered yet. Yeah. Uh -huh. two garages. 
branches. Not that there's a proper house. I guess there's houses on both sides of it. I don't know which one goes with this property, but... town here than I thought there was. I thought it was just going to be a handful of buildings, but this is it's a lot of residences. Whoever was there really, f oh, it looks like another gun store type situation maybe, I don't know. I think that's about wraps it up for the day. There's nothing else. You know, I just wanted to search some stuff out up here, but I'm gonna go back and get my my uh, reward. Sell off some junk, maybe. Oh, I definitely don't want to have to deal with the environments. There's also a uh, like a desert terrain. Uh, my guess is if I go south far enough, I'm gonna hit the the desert. Of course, in that biome, you're going to have to worry about uh, being too too hot. It's a little bit of an added challenge for sure. Temperate zone in the middle. you today. Now we're cooking with gas. Ranger's Guide to Archery. I love the crafting skill magazine bundle, but the last time I got anything in there, it, it wasn't anything, everything I had already known, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. stuff. Well, that's a level 5 wrench, so that's going to replace my current wrench. Trader Joel's is now closed. Oh, my bike is in there. Oh, you jerk. You teleported me out. I wasn't sure what was going to happen. 
My bike is still in there. that means we're going to have to hold up here for the night. There's my potato because I don't have the other uh, grill and the other stuff. Oh, that's what I was planning on doing, but no, nope, I don't think so. All right, what if I max this out? Okay, what if I don't? the night.
Okay, this thing I gotta deal with. Let's see. What else do I not need at all? That gives me the space. I will repair that. She uses a mechanical part. I will I gotta unmodify this. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. <laughs> I have to wait till morning to get my stupid mini bike back. I knew that was a risk when I drove in there, but I was thinking maybe he would just not let me go in the store. I didn't think they were gonna teleport me out of there. That kind of surprised me. Uh, another day in zombie survival land. <laughs>